2012 Ducati 1100 Evo, timing belt change. First thing I did, uh, I loosened these two uh, header bolts right here. I undid the two springs. I also um, undid the one screw that holds the exhaust on right here. I loosened this clamp. Uh, I dropped the exhaust down. I kept the O2 sensor on. I sprayed some WD-40 uh, into this joint right here. Uh, and then it allowed me to twist the pipe and slide it out. And now it's right here. Next thing I did, I removed the, the lower uh, timing belt cover. There's four five millimeter Allen bolts and note the length of the bolts and where they came from. They're different sizes. Okay, the next thing I did was I lifted the gas tank up. There's a good video I'll link in the description that tells you how to do this. We do this so we can gain access to this cover and pull it out. This bolt is right here. All right, so now we can move on to the next step. Next thing I'm doing is I'm marking the, the, the gear, the belt, and the housing. Gear belt housing. The next thing I did was I loosened these two bolts to allow myself to remove the the belt, and this immediately dropped down. So it's a good thing we marked the gear and a reference housing. It was I loosened these two bolts to release the tension off this other belt and then I could take it out. Next thing I did was I slid the new belt on. I had to squeeze it through this slot right here, went straight in, teeth are on this, snaked it around, and then it's up here. And you can see that once you put some tension on this belt, right here, our, our marks are still aligned. And you can see that like, you're not gonna be like, like like a tooth off. So really like, you know, like the teeth still have to fall into place. So you, you can only turn this, this gear so much before, you know, if I were to, you know, for these dots would just, in the, if I wanted this tooth right here, I'd have to turn that whole gear. And so, you know, it doesn't have to be like within, you know, half a degree or anything. It's just, there's only so many spaces that this, this gear can fall into or this belt will allow it. So, you know, this is generally gonna be the good spot for this, this belt. I slipped this, uh, the horizontal belt on and you can see how our dots are not lined up. So if we take our belt and we put it over here, and there's only so many places that this belt can line up. So like I was saying, like, it's actually difficult. As long as you marked, you know, the gear and the casing, it's gonna be difficult to actually not accurately put the belt on and have the gear line up. Like, so right now I'm gonna try to make it not line up and I'll show you what I mean. So you can see I, I put the belt back on and my two dots line up still. So this is the, you know, like I said, like if we wanted, you know, this, this concave part to go in this part of the belt, like look how far it would have to go over. Like you would, you would instantly know that, that this, this gear was not in the correct location. And this one stays fixed the entire time. So this is pretty straightforward. All right. What I did now was I... Uh, adjusted the tension on this belt and I used an app called DB meter and you turn the phone horizontal to get the frequency range and I pluck put the microphone right up here 
and I pluck with my finger and, and according to PsychoWorks it says 99 to 110 hertz and mine's at like 107 right now. Um, it's really hard to do such a fine adjustment tuning with this, at least for me. Uh, so I'm happy with 107 I'm, and I'm gonna keep it there. So the installation, the uh, the reinstall was just the, the same as taking it apart. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, put the cover back on, tank back on, exhaust back together. Um, I primarily made this video to show people it's not complicated to do the tonning belts on your Ducati. Uh, for me, I had a lot of like hesitation. I've been putting it off. I'm like, it's a huge job. I, I, I need like a professional to do this, but it's really not that bad considering uh, that, um, that the belts have teeth in them and that the timing gears only have so many places they can go on those, uh, on the tooth of belt. Uh, so that makes things a lot more, a lot easier for you. You know, you know. For example, like if if that bell was smooth the entire way around, then yeah, like if you're off by like, you know, 0 0.01 degrees, you know, who knows if you have an interference at that point. But because the belt have teeth, you know, you can only turn that gear, you know, a certain number of you know uh, degrees before it, it allows itself to lock into the teeth on the belt again. Um, I started the bike up, it ran fine. Um, I primarily am making this video so that I can look back on it and just see, oh, you know, what do I have to take apart um, to do for, for my timing belt chain, like a timing belt change. And it's really not that bad. Uh, every, I think every two years or 12,000 miles, uh, my bike said 2012, and I don't think it's ever been changed. Uh, it's 2019 right now, but the bike has 11,500 miles on it. Uh, the belt was pretty loose, so I think I think at worst, what we should do is, you know, adjust the tension on the belt um, every two years. Another thing with the app, uh, I found it kind of difficult to find a reliable app to give you the correct frequency response. Maybe some of you in the comments can mention what app you use reliably. I probably downloaded six or seven apps, um, and I just wanted to try each app to see what you know the frequency was just in case one app was giving me like you know bad bad results uh, so that's pretty much it I uh, hope this video helps uh, sorry it's not too in detail but it I tried just to run through the steps like you know boom 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 so that I'm not wasting that much of your time and you can just quickly look at this video and maybe cross-reference another one uh, for example how to remove like the gas tank uh, so that when it comes time for you to do your tiny belt, you don't have to spend 40 minutes researching how do I do this. It's, it's straightforward.